I don't know about you, but my eyes don't do too well in bright sunlight, especially while driving around or around water. Throughout the whole year, I need sunglasses, and the one pair I always go back to are my trusty Ray-Ban Wayfarer 2132s. Now I own Maui Jims, Oakleys, and all sorts of cheaper pairs from sports stores, thrift shops, etc, but none of them feel as satisfying on my head than the Ray-Bans. Why is that? To start with, I think there is just an old school cool factor that comes along with the Wayfarer design. I mean, the original design has been around since 1952, and even though it's had some refinements over time, it's just a classic style that looks cool no matter what. At this stage in my life, I don't put much effort into my outward appearance. I like each piece of clothing to be as comfortable and functional as possible. But even though my style is very ordinary, Whenever I put on my Ray-Bans, I feel it always just ties whatever I'm wearing together and makes me feel cool. Okay, so they are timelessly cool, check. As far as the fit goes, I just like the way they sit on my face. <laughs> what I mean is they're comfortable. Now they aren't the cheapest sunglasses at 150 US per pair, but they are extremely durable. And I personally don't mind spending more if it means I save in the long run. I've had this pair since 2011, and only about a year ago did I need to finally replace the lenses, which, lucky for me, were covered with my wife's insurance plan. Lenses would usually cost between $30 and $80 to replace, depending on whether you want polarized or not. I have dropped them countless times, as well as somehow I consistently bonk them while they're on the top of my head on my car, and yet the action on them is still superb. They are tough. We have spent quite a few bucks on sunnies over the years, and while these might not be the best for staying on my nose since they are just plastic as opposed to having rubber, they stay on my face pretty well. They do slide down quite easily if I'm sweating, but that could just be my face though. It's funny, I don't remember ever breaking my nose or anything, but I do have a big bump right here, and sunglasses consistently fall down, but these are actually pretty good. I'm rocking a green tinted lens that is polarized, but nowadays you can get any tint and style that you want. I also prefer the black glossy designs on these ones as opposed to say a matte black. We actually own a pair of matte black Wayfarers that's packed up with all of our stuff, but for whatever reason, these are the ones I choose to wear. I've never picked a glossy black anything in life except my sunglasses. Go figure. So should you buy Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses? Sometimes I like making videos because I found the best of the best when it comes to a product. Other times I like to make videos just because I find something that I really like and that stood the test of time. Are these the best sunglasses? Well, of course that's subjective. They don't block the sun from the side very well and they are quite heavy, which some people might not like very much. But at the end of the day, I think these are very well balanced. They feel comfortable sitting on my face all day. They're timelessly cool, extremely durable and look good on practically any face. I think if you don't have a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarer sunglasses in your collection, well, you should probably get some. They're awesome. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. In the meantime, check out this video next. Or how about this one? See you next time on The Sad Life. <laughs> <laughs>